Hello Taurus and welcome to your messages from the divine video. So we're going to be looking at what messages the divine wants you to hear. Taurus, remember that these videos are generalized. So take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't as that will resonate with someone else. And if you need me to have a look at your own personal circumstances, my website is in the description box below. Just get in touch with me and I'll be happy to work with you. Taurus, also remember to have a look at your sun sign, your moon sign and your ascendant sign because together these are going to give you a much fuller reading. Taurus, also remember to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell as that helps me out a lot. So we're going to be looking at some tarot cards, then we're going to be looking at some oracle cards to see what both divination systems have to say about, you know, the message that you need to hear. And it seems like an interesting message that we have here. All right. Hmm. Okay. All right. So we have two major arcana cards in this uh, reading. We have the temperance card and also we have the emperor card. So you have an interesting situation that is going on currently and it looks like this is a very emotional situation that you have going on. So Taurus, what is going on? What has you so emotional? Because we're seeing here with our King of Cups, he's sitting on a river or a lake or some body of water and this body of water is very turbulent. So that's indicating that your emotions are very in that sort of like unsettled state. And kicking off this reading, we are seeing that you have the temperance first. And the term temperance talks about balancing two different types of energies. So we could be seeing you here that you are trying to balance fire and water. And usually these two elements don't mix with each other so the divine is coming to say that whatever it is that you're going through at the moment remember to balance your emotions because you could be going through some sort of fiery situation you could be going through maybe legal situations even and it's quite difficult for you to keep balanced especially if you feel that the other party has done you wrong why do I say that the other party might have done you wrong? Because again, we are seeing that you're trying to balance fire and water. Again, water is our emotions, right? And the fire is our passion, our drive. And we're seeing that between the fire and the water, our temperance here is using hair. Uh, what's the word I want to use? She's scented, okay. She's, as you can see on the card, she's scented, she's balanced. So this card is really asking you that whatever is going on, think of how you can ask for the outcome of this situation to be good for all, uh, all parties that are involved, or at least on your part, be kind, be gentle, even though it might feel that you want to ban the other person, you want to ban the other party, but transmute that energy of that fire, not to try and ban the other party, because we're seeing between the two elements, there's a rainbow there. So instead of wanting to ban the other party, because if you ban the other party by anger, by lashing out, by maybe throwing a tantrum even. This card is coming to say that that is going to backfire on you. So whatever is going on, think how you would want to be treated, even though you're like, no, I, I am angry right now. See how you can sit with that anger, because we're seeing that even the, um, the rainbow is making a heart shaped with the earth. So don't work from your head, use your heart instead. So this card is really talking about 
alchemy almost because you're trying to balance two elements that are mixed together so be in your flow and again just think about what is good for both parties and whatever it is that you're doing this card also reminds you to do everything in moderation and we've talked a bit about our king of cups and it's interesting to see again we have that water element because the king of cups really deals with emotion right but being that he's the king of cups he has mastered his emotions so this card is coming in to ask you how can you remain balanced even though inside you might be screaming your heart might be breaking but on the outside you're gonna give that appearance of calm and collected because for some reason that appearance of calm and collected the divine is saying that that's going to be important so i don't know if you have a legal situation going on at the moment and by appearing calm and connect collected the justice system is going to actually go in your favor because if you're going to be using the fire and getting angry then that's going to backfire on you so the king is like i said they've remastered their emotions they're stable they're in control so this card and the divine is asking you to stay in control to stay stable and however much you feel that life is trying to throw you off balance find ways of how you can transmute whatever is going on into a situation that is harmonious that is like i said that is balanced the word of this month is going to be balance so now we have the emperor and again this is why i mentioned that you might have a legal situation going on because as we're seeing with our emperor here he's got his scrolls he's got the information so you could be going ahead and asking for help from maybe a lawyer solicitor or someone who's very knowledgeable in a situation that you're dealing with so this card is saying to you again we're seeing that there's a lot of fire but there's two different elements. So even though you might be surrounded with fire, you might be surrounded with that feeling of anger and this is not fair. See how you can rise above it. See how you can use logic and foresight, right? How you can use this to make the changes so maybe you might get an outcome that's favorable to you you're seeing how this uh, the social structures work and you're using logic to influence the outcome to be in your favor so this is very much saying that this situation the outcome of it is going to be based on your behavior and based on you using your knowledge staying stable staying balanced so the emperor is all about again leadership and like i said this could be indicating that you're dealing with the justice the justice system and this could be maybe you've got kids and you are dealing with the children's father and you, maybe you're taking him to court to get um, him to support the kids because the emperor is also the card that talks about the father. He represents the father in, uh, in the tarot. So interestingly, we're going to see now that we're looking at some runes. And the card here that we have is talking about harvest. And that's very interesting so far because harvest is all about Ojira, is all about what you put in is what you get out. 
you go in with guns blazing, you go in with anger, with passion, but not in a balanced way, you are going to get that mirrored back to you. So you're going to reap what you sow. So remember, we started off with the temperance card. And the temperance card, like I said, is a major arcana card. So what this card is saying is very, very important, right? So what the temperance card and Jira are saying, as you can see, from one end going to another, you're going to reap what you sow. So don't cheat. Don't tell lies. Don't, do, don't be deceptive this month of August, even though you might be tempted to be. Because you're thinking that if you twist the truth a little bit, then the justice system is going to be on your side. But Jira is saying that if you do that, the lawyer, the judge, or rather the judge, is going to be able to see through any deception from your part or the other side. So just go in with a clean heart. Just go in wanting the best outcome for everyone involved, even though that might be painful for you. Because at the end of the day, like we saw with the King of Cups, controlling your emotions, controlling yourself, knowing that at the moment, in 2020, this is a very interesting year. And this is a year that's dealing with a lot of karma. And I don't know what situation you're going through. I'm just giving you the messages that I'm getting. Okay, so don't shoot the messenger here. So here, this could be a karmic situation, maybe from past lives. Because again, we're seeing that with our temperance, it's from as above, so below, right? So whatever is going on, if you're dealing with the justice system, again, maybe pray and say, may the right thing happen. Because if this is a karmic situation that you're dealing with, even though it might be seeming that the outcome is not fair, just know that you could be balancing some karmas from past lives. So just understand that. I know sometimes the messages are maybe difficult to grasp, but hopefully this is getting, giving you a heads up, a heads up on what you need. So again, we were talking about lies before, and this card is talking about triumph of lies. And this card is very interesting because when we look at this card, we are seeing like a ghostly figure. We're seeing our ghostly figure there with a crown. And we're seeing some orbs. And so this card is coming to say that things might not be what they seem. So again, Triumph of Lies is coming to say that, let's say if this is you or maybe the other person, they could come in and tell all sorts of lies. And they could think that the justice system is falling for these lies. And they're going to be triumphant based on lies. But this is not going to be so because the judge is going to be able to see right through any lies because we can see that we have a person here but where their face is is just a skull because we can see right through them. The divine can see right to the core of whatever it is that is going on. So don't think that lies are going to be equals triumph the other um the other way around is going to actually be what happens so truth is going to prevail so uranus uranus here uranus is the energy again that can deal with justice systems but it can deal with justice systems also on like a mass scale like humanity that type of thing but when we're looking at our card here with Uran Uran uh, Uranus, we're seeing that again, we've got that piercing look. We've, we're seeing that this figure is searching for truth. And this is what this situation is indicating, that 
whatever is going on, whoever is making decisions, if it's you, if it's again a legal situation, the people behind that legal situation are going to be searching for the truth and the truth only. So now we have Aries. So maybe you are dealing with an Aries person. But this card is saying that a fiery climax approaches. So maybe right now where you are, like I said, there's a lot of fire. There's a lot of anger and passion in this in this uh, in this reading. So this card is coming in to say that balance that fire otherwise if you let this fiery climax approach this is where you're going to be thrown off center off balance so be sure to keep things in check keep your emotions in check because it's going to serve you for the long run whatever it is that is happening so this card here is coming to say that, that there is nothing sexier than my authentic truth. So there's something about truth in this car, in this reading. You know exactly what is going on. And we spoke about lies. And now we are speaking about truth. So again, yes. Authentic truth might be sexy, but in this reading, what I'm saying, what I'm seeing for you is just be honest, be authentic, be truthful, whatever is going on, because that is how you are going to win. The next card, the Druid, which is our final card here, Taurus. So Taurus, the Druid is coming in to ask you to hold this space. So as you're re listening to me talking to you, not everything might make sense. But the Druid is saying, just sit with this information and slowly you are going to start piecing different parts of this reading together to tailor make a message for you. You are going to start understanding something that I said is going to prompt you to go and do something. but. Just make sure you sit and think your situation and what I've just said and maybe rewatch the video because the divine is saying that there are clues for you in this video. And this is why you were led to, uh, to be here. So there is something definitely. Again, I always look at the pictures and see like how all the cards are speaking together and this is why i use different cards all the time instead of using the same uh, deck of cards when i'm doing my readings because i like to see from di different artists what they have drawn i like to see like the tarot cards the oracle cards the runes like because they all speak to me in different ways and this is why i use different cards and so this situation could be happening at a full moon so this could be the full moon in Aries which could indicate that maybe the the final resolution of what's happening here could be happening the conclusion could be in Aries and that would be the full moon in Aries but there's something that is going on at the full moon so there's a conclusion that is going to be coming through around the full moon so Taurus this is the reading that I have for you again comment subscribe hit the notification bell and if you need me to have a look at your own personal reading my website is in the description box below just get in touch and we can take it from there so I shall see you in my next video I hope you enjoyed this video and it's a goodbye from me